Alright guys, how is it going? Welcome back to another progression episode. So right now, I'm still extremely sick. I do apologise. I'm hoping by the end of this video, my voice is back to normal. Fingers crossed overnight, tonight, it will, you know, at least tone down a bit so I sound not so gross, I guess. But either way, right now, we are just smithing, or smelting, I should say, our corrupted ore from Nice Nine Mining. Earlier on, I got my Molten Shard, which, you know, it has been a long time since I got Nice Nine Smithing, but we finally have that, so I can add that to the collection in the bank. And I just thought I'd do this because I'm playing on the Skiller account, I'm editing a Skiller episode, and I need something AFK to do right now before I go and uh, train my DG. I could do rune crafting, but to be honest, I just wanted to do this. The hour. Do you say Trehan or is that how you say it? Trehan? Trehan? I don't know. But yeah, that hour is on right now. There's around 20 minutes left, and I just thought I would make the most of the 20% boost. I also have some bonus XP, but we're down to 783k. We've gone down around 250k so far. How long is left of the hour? Yeah, about 20 minutes. So we're not going to get a level, but we still have over 13.2k of the yours left to go through. The plan with these was originally to use them on double XP weekend, but because I didn't, I'm just using them now every single time this hour comes around. So I'm going to get people in the FC to let me know, or, you know, just friends to let me know when this hour is about. And then I'll just come and do this for the hour. Just take a break from whatever it is I'm doing and pretty much work my way through 13k of these. So... Yeah, that's the plan for right now. 20 minutes of this, and then moving on to DG. Okay, wow, my voice is not much better this morning. I thought it would be a lot better, but it isn't. Um, but last night I got a tweet from someone asking either to make a video on making money, or basically how I grind out my skills. And to be honest, making money, I would literally just say PVM. That's all I can really say. If you know how to flip and you know good items, do that. But honestly... PVM is probably the way forward. All my loot tabs and stuff like that. That's pretty much where I've got my money from. If you go back and watch like what I sell my loot tab video, stuff like that, you'll pretty much understand where all my money has come from. But in terms of grinding out skills, that look at that, 30k farming XP, nice. Um, grinding out skills is something that I know how to do very well because normally when I set myself a goal, for example, 99 in the skill, I am pretty good at grinding that out. For example, when I was going for nice another attack, I literally just sat there all week and went for it. And then I did the same with defense, range, magic. I just sat there until I got 99. By the way, if I have to keep taking breaks, it's because I need a cough or get a drink because my voice is so bad. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm hoping this cup of tea right now is going to help me out. My mum said it will, but who knows. But yeah, basically, I find a good series that I want to, you know, just skill along to. Now, I find that this is just a standard answer. Everyone says, you know, just put Netflix on, put YouTube on, something like that. And yeah, to be honest, it really does help. On the side of that, the only thing I can personally say that gets me through the grind in each skill is making videos for you guys, because I know you're waiting for a video and that I really want to achieve these goals. I guess it just sort of works out like that because I upload it, get good feedback from you guys, and then it motivates me and it works in a cycle like that. Basically, long story short, just find a decent series, find something you enjoy doing and just stick to it. If you set yourself a goal, don't let yourself fail and yeah, pretty much just go for it and slab it out. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to put DG off for another hour because we got the Trey Hearn hour again, which means 20% extra XP. And like I told you guys at the very first clip, I'm pretty much gonna make the most of this. In the last episode, I started it off by saying how awesome it would be to get the divination pet and look what happened. So yeah, the smithing pet is really cool. If I could get that, then that would be insane. Hint, hint. So the hour is up now, we still have 11.6k corrupted ore to go. I don't even know how much swamp tar is worth, I mean, how much is it worth per one? Okay, so 51k, eh, I don't know, I guess it's just money back on the side of trading, I don't know. But we still have 488k until 100, which I reckon within the next two hours I should be able to get that. So yeah, not too bad. So the people I was going DG with aren't online right now. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and train some more rune crafting. Why not? Just fill in the time there. I want to train up anyway and I do want the pet. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and do this while I wait for them to come online. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. So I have been here for a while and it feels a lot slower than Div. I'm not too sure why, maybe it's because the locations I'm in, maybe I enjoy it more, but 
training in Runespan, it just seems to go so slow. And that was only around 350k XP. But either way, guys, there we go. Level 87, one step closer to 90. But yeah, that's not going to be in this video, guys. This video right here is actually going to be one of my first sort of trial videos where the gains won't be as much, but the video should be the same length. And it just means I can get more regular videos out there for you guys. I don't know, but you guys voted for more videos when I asked you for it. So hopefully you enjoy this one. But yeah, let's just move on now. So for those of you that are a fan of Fashionscape, I have changed up my outfit now. As you can see, we are going for the white and light blue effect with, of course, the fire cape. I love this cape so much right now. And the staff actually matched it as well with a hint of blue there to go with the outfit. But yeah, <laughs> anyway, I'm doing my farm run. So Hopefully I can actually get a level in this video, 93 would be pretty awesome. I think I can get that by the end of tomorrow, so hopefully, yeah, that should work out to be in this video. Nice. So this is what happens when you make multiple groups on different nights, and then say you're going to go a different time, but don't worry, if any of you guys ever get left out of a DG party, what the heck am I wearing? If any of you guys get left out, we will definitely go again. We'll just like mix up every sort of level or two, something like that. So yeah, don't worry about that. So just ending off this dungeon here, it isn't a level for me, but Carlos, who is in our group here, is actually just about to get 150 mil DG. That is crazy. That's so much XP. Congratulations, man. So I also had a daily challenge for DG. So let's go ahead. I think someone's spamming in my FC right there. But yeah, 88.3k XP. Not too bad. I am going to go back now and do some more once we have a new team. But yeah, let's go. Alright, is the next day now. I'm feeling a bit better. Didn't have a great sleep last night, but either way, logged on and I had another daily challenge for DG. I didn't get a level last night and there isn't really any of my team people on right now, although I will message the FC and see if anyone wants to go. If not, I'll just do it by myself. I'm not really too fussed, but either way, I have another daily challenge, which I'm going to go ahead and extend with my Viswax. Yeah, last time I got 88k, as you guys saw, so hopefully this time, you know, it's double that. That'll be insane, but who knows? We'll have to find out very soon. The reason I didn't extend it before was because I didn't know I had it. It was just a surprise, so yeah, a bit of bonus XP there, but yeah, let's go and do this. I'll be honest with you guys, I have pretty much no knowledge when it comes to dungeoneering whatsoever, but we've just been rushing all of the C1 floors I had left. Yeah, reset my progress, let me just tell them I've done it. And yeah, now we're gonna go do larges on max complexity. We actually did get a decent amount of XP just from the C1 smalls. We only have 68k now until 91, so I should get that in this floor, if not on the next one, so I'll see you guys there. Alright, sweet. There we go, guys. Level 91 Dungeoneering. We did that floor. Was I right in saying that was a large? We did that in 10 minutes. That is the best time I've had so far. And that is awesome. And thank you for saying congrats there, Barney. But yeah, this team is spot on. I just want to quickly shout out the people in the team. So we've obviously got me. We've got Just Herbe. I think that's how you say it. Uh, Sun Pudding. Uh, Barney Barney. And LGV as well. So, yeah, really good team. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. 176k, nice, that is awesome. Right, time to go back. The last floor, I got 85k. So, yeah, that's some solid XP right there. Wow, this is the fastest time I've ever done a large floor. Under 8 minutes, that is crazy. This team is insane. And don't get me wrong, I appreciate every single person that helps me with DG. I'm just saying, this is the fastest I've ever, you know, finished something like this. So... Yeah, I want to say thank you for that. That's crazy. We're nearly 92 already. What? This is this XP is insane. Oh my days. And there we go, guys. Level 92 Dungeoneering, halfway to 99. This has gone so quickly. We did lose a member, but they're coming back later on, so it's all good. But yeah, let's go ahead and leave for now, because we're getting a new person now. So we're going to go back up to a five-man team, but that was really awesome. And it wasn't too bad timing for a four-man team. So yeah, again... Level 92. So I don't know if I'm going to get 93 in this one because, again, as you just saw, we're losing someone else. But still, in the last episode, I said I wanted to go to 92 and then sort of move on. Mixed up a bit here and there, but the levels, they're just coming in so fast right now. So who knows? I might get another level. I might not. 660k XP is quite a lot of XP, but I don't know. It's been going well so far, so I guess we'll find out. I'm going to stop mentioning things that I like on video because check this out. He has the untrimmed prayer cape. God damn it. 
Okay, so a bit of a longer floor this time, and I literally had the worst luck. I had a power cut when I was at the end of the dungeon, so I lost all the XP, I think. Or I don't know if you get it. Does it automatically give it to you, or do you lose it? I don't know, but I think that I did lose it. But either way, guys, there we go for level 93, and we unlocked floor 47, so not too bad. But yeah, I'm very happy with that. The teams today have been, like I said before, amazing so thank you to everyone who did come along and help me get 93 but yeah for now i'm gonna go and do some div or rc and then get 93 farming i'm just editing this video real quick and when i got 93 i said i had a power cut and went on about that it wasn't actually on that floor it was a couple before that so yeah when i started talking about not getting the xp it wasn't for that one so please don't think i'm a weirdo it was a couple before that but still do I lose the XP? Do I get it? I don't know. It was like 70k, so I'm gutted if I lost that. So someone's just brought up a question, which I have had quite a lot recently, which is about the new clan. I've been mentioning it. I'm going to make one for ages and I haven't done it yet. I'm honestly just looking for the right time to do it because I'm so busy right now. So I'm just trying to figure out, you know, when's the best time. And, you know, I'm just focused on my account right now and the skiller as well, plus making videos and all that stuff. So as of right now, yes, I am making a new clan. If you are interested, let me know down below. But I'm not too sure when it is. It'll be definitely within the next week or two. I just need to sort everything out first, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm just getting a couple of questions on it right now. So I thought I would answer it in a video just so all of you are, I guess, answered at once. But also, Matthias wants a shout out for the video tonight. So there you go. I've been waiting ages. I'm pretty sure these trees were supposed to be ready about an hour ago. So this video is going to be a bit later than normal. But hopefully you guys don't mind that. Three videos in three days. I'm actually pretty happy of that, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit with a level 93. So even after doing all my trees, I still had 5k left until 93, so I just done my jack of trades, and I normally use it on farming anyway, just because it speeds up a bit, um, but yeah, there we go, pretty much 21k there towards farming, and continuing through, there we go for level 93. Not too bad, that means I've got two level 93s in this video. We also did some rune crafting, bit of smithing, I did that earlier on as well. We're now 400k from 100, so I'll probably get that in the next one, just for, I don't know, like I said before, if I'm bored of doing something, I just want to AFK it, then I'll do that, but yeah, hopefully in the next one we can do some more div training, and at some point I do need to jump on thieving and hunter as well, but for right now, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. To be honest, my next 99 is probably going to be DG, because... With the team also today, I told you guys so many times, it's amazing, so so yeah, we'll probably do some more DG tonight, tomorrow, and probably Friday as well. I don't know how long it would take to get 99, because we got three levels today, which I'm really happy with, and we're over halfway now, so yeah, I'm not too sure how long it would take, really. But on that note, guys, thank you all so much for watching. You can literally hear my voice dying right now. I do apologise, but I love you all so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Feel something real Let me be the one To free you from all you've done